Welcome to this video where we are going to be making a microbit dice. Um, we're going to do two different forms of dice. I'm going to do a straightforward one where we shake the microbit and it just reveals a number between one and six. And we're going to make a trick dice where if you hold down the B button while you shake it, then you get a greater chance of rolling a six. So let's go straight into the microbit editor and get started. So making a standard dice is really easy. All we need to do is choose from inputs the on shake block. So any code we put inside here is going to run when the microbit is shaken. And in our simulator we now have a shake button which we can click on and that will simulate shaking the microbit and, and it will run this code. So let's think, what do we want to happen when we shake the microbit? Well the first thing we need is a random number between 1 and 6 and then we want to show that number on the screen and then probably clear the screen again after a short while so that it's ready uh, to be shaken again. So let's use a variable to store the number that uh, is the value on our dice. So if I go to variables and I click make a variable I can give my variable a name so I'm going to choose dice value press OK and now I get some more options so I'm going to set dice value when I shake my dice to a random number between 1 and 6 and I'll find the random stuff under math. So I can pick random, I drop it in and I just need to change the minimum and maximum numbers here from uh, 0 to 10 to uh, 1 to 6. So now it will pick a random number between 1 and 6 every time I shake. Now if I Click shake, I can't see anything because we haven't output the value to the screen. So I can do that with basic and I can pick the show number block. If I drop that in, the number I want to show is the number being stored by dice value. So if I go back to variables and choose the dice value block and drop it in, it will now show the randomly selected number when I shake it. So let's try that. So it's showing a four. A two, a five, five again, a three, five, four. So there we go. Now it would be nice if that then disappears off the screen. So let's just add from basic a pause. And this is in milliseconds. So maybe let's set that to one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. And then just clear the screen, which is basic, more, and clear screen. So it's now going to show uh, a random number for a second and then the screen will clear again. So let's try this. I shake my micro bit, I get a two and it disappears. Two again, two again. I seem to get lots of random twos. A three this time, there we go. I was beginning to think it didn't work. A four, a one and so on. So that seems to be working as a random dice. So why don't you try and do the same for your own? Um, Test it, then download it, put it onto your micro bit, check that it works, and then we're going to move on to how do we change this to be a trick dice. So to make this into a trick dice, we're going to actually create two new functions. Those are little subroutines in our program. And I'm going to have one for selecting um, a random number between 1 and 6 in a fair way, and another function for choosing a random number in a fixed odds way, i.e. a weighted dice. So I'm going to start off by having a function. I'm going to call it fair dice roll. OK, so it's now created a new function block over here. And I'm going to create another one under functions, make a function called um, weighted dice roll. OK, so I've got those two blocks now ready for me to put my code in. Now, as it happens, this bit of code here, set dice value, to a number between 1 and 6 is a fair dice roll. So I can just drag that and drop it in there. Uh, and I'll put these values back. But I need something slightly different for my weighted dice roll. And there's different ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you a quick way. Let's just right click and duplicate that block and stick it in here. And now I'm going to change these values so that they're between 1 and 10. And now I'm going to say, I'm going to add some code in a minute to say, well, if the number is greater than 6, then just set it back to 6. So if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then just show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
But if it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then show a six. So you'll see that you get many more chances of rolling a number that would show a six than one to five. So to do this, we just need to add some logic and we're going to do an if statement. And I'm going to say that if dice value is greater than or equal to six, or greater than six. So again, back to logic, and I choose this block, which has my comparison control. So I'm gonna grab that one and drop it in there, but I do need to change it to be a greater than sign. And now I need to put dice value in here. So I go back to variables, dice value, and the number six in here. So if dice value is greater than six, i.e. if it is seven, eight, nine, or 10, then I'm simply going to set dice value to six. Okay, so if it rolls a seven, it'll set it to a six. If it rolls a nine, it'll set it to a six. If it rolls a two, this won't run and it will remain two. So now what I need to do is call one or other of these functions when we shake. So we need some control over this, so what I've decided is we're gonna test to see if someone's holding down the B button, and if they are while they're shaking, then we're gonna do a weighted roll, but if they're not, we'll do a fair roll. So for this to work, we need um, another logic block, but I'm gonna use an if then else block. So let me put that in at the top. I'm gonna move that. So we're gonna say if, if we go to input, we can choose if button B is pressed. So if we're holding down button B while we're doing the shake, uh, then we can roll the weighted dice roll. So we need to go back to functions and we're gonna call weighted dice roll else, which means otherwise, so if, if B is not pressed, we simply want to call the fair dice roll. Okay, so when we shake now, it's gonna test, is the player holding down the button B? If they are, run this code. If they're not, run this code. Both of these pro, uh, little functions set a value of dice value. And then once that's run, we show dice value for a second and clear the screen like before. Now it's almost impossible for me to test this in fact, I think it is impossible within the simulator because I can't hold down B and press shake at the same time. So I'll, I will always get a fair dice roll. Uh, one way I could test this is though, I could switch these two round just to check that we get a weighted roll, um, which should mean more sixes. So if I keep shaking, so there's one six, another six. If you do about 10 shakes, you should find you get sixes more often than any other number. Um, although I'm not getting many now. Uh, but obviously the real way to test this and the good way to check it is to actually download this code onto your microbit and try it out for real.